Hey everyone, we're FreeAim, and today we've got some exciting updates to share about Quest standalone support with our motorized VR shoes. But first, FreeAim will be at AWE this year and is part of the AWE Augie Awards. If you have time, please vote for us as the best interactive product. Details in the video description or comment. Thanks so much. Okay, let's talk standalone support, something that we are constantly asked about. I'll talk about the challenges of standalone support later, but for now, we have been able to get it working with some games. We've tested it with VR Chat, Doom 3, and Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which are Team Beef mods, Until You Fall, and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. We know how popular VR Chat is, and it works great. In this video, you're looking at footage of VR Chat and Doom 3. Here's how we're doing it. The shoes have a new mode where they act like a standard gamepad. If you've ever paired a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller or any other gamepad with your Quest and used the joystick to move around, that's essentially how these shoes behave. Any Quest game that supports a gamepad or gamepad input should work right out of the box. We went with this approach first because it has several advantages. We didn't need to reach out to any game developers to test if this works, so we could handle everything on our own. We think it's a good first step. This method is also quick and easy to integrate with any game or application, since Unity and Unreal Engine have easy ways of integrating gamepad input already, since, you know, most games need gamepad input already. Developers don't need to have a custom SDK from us to make this work. They can implement this easily themselves and don't have to trust any third-party code from us or really have any code specific to FreeAIM. It just works without any of that. In fact, any hardware peripheral, any VR locomotion device that can emulate a gamepad can benefit from this approach, which makes this approach more universal. But there are trade-offs to this approach. The shoes don't receive any headset data, so our position correction algorithm doesn't kick in. For that algorithm to run, we need the shoes to have the headset position and orientation. With position correction not working, an easy solution is to use the shoes within a frame, like I show here, because position correction is not needed when you're in a frame. And that's the main reason why I'm using the frame in this video. Also, movement direction is based on the way you're facing. So when you're walking, you just move in whatever direction you're facing. It's not based on the way your hips are facing like we have in SteamVR, because in order to do that, we need the headset orientation. In SteamVR, we can do more things, and one day we would love to bring all of those features to standalone too. We're talking about the MetaQuest mostly in this video, but we would like to support all platforms eventually as well. And since I'm talking about the frame, I also want to mention that this is the first time that we're showing the frame being used with the belt that you see me wearing. We've been doing more internal testing and have found that a belt like what I'm showing here makes people feel safer and testers have described how they like the feedback that the belt gives them. We're curious though, what do you think of the belt? Please let us know in a comment. And I have more to say about using a frame with the VR shoes, but I'll save that for some upcoming videos. Now you might be wondering, does Meta support locomotion peripherals? And unfortunately, not really. We've read the docs, searched the forums, and there really isn't any official support yet. That being said, there are some workarounds. Emulating a gamepad, which is what we've done, is one of them. Working directly with developers to add custom support is another. And then another is to take the games and mod them yourself and then sideload them. But this method might be risky. If you do this method, and when you load up the game, when you run the game, you may get a warning saying that you should not use an unofficial version of the game, except for development purposes. Plus, this probably won't work, or at least is risky, with online competitive games because of anti-cheat software. If you know of a better way of integrating locomotion devices with the Quest, please let us know. We're always looking for more options. And if you know any developers, or know someone at Meta, Tell them that you want native VR locomotion support. That's it for now. We'll be back later and show some videos of gameplay footage of other games that are supported on Quest Standalone. And again, please vote for Freem as the best interactive product in this year's AWE Augie Awards. And if you'll be at AWE, please reach out to us so we can schedule a demo with you ahead of time. Details in the video description or comment. Thanks again.